I was just contacted from the shelter, and they say they have about a two-year-old boxer that was found in the streets as a stray. When they brought her into the shelter, they scanned her for a microchip and found out she had one, so they instantly called her family. Unfortunately, her family never responded, leaving this dog in the shelter without a home, and now her time is quickly running out. So I'm gonna get down there and see what I can do. Is that you? Hi, 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 hi. I know, I know, I know, hi. It's a lot easier if I come inside and do that. Let me in, let me in, hold on, hold on. Two-year-old oh Penny is bursting with love and affection. And she makes a convincing argument for why Brandon should rescue her. Thank you so much. Got you, thank you, thank you. Okay, come on. Lead the way. Penny has sealed the deal and earned her ticket to freedom. Come on, come on. There you go, there you go, come on. Come on, come on. Boxers are always so full of energy. Slow it down, slow it down. Today I'll be doing Penny's assessment of her knowledge of the seven common commands, which are sit, stay, down, come, off, heel, and no. The first thing I asked out of her was to give me a sit. Show me a sit. Oh, I didn't say jump, show me a sit. Good, there you go. Wow, you are in fifth gear, my friend. And then I asked her to go down and a down. She has not a clue what I'm talking about. No didn't even compute in her vocabulary. Yeah, you don't know that. Do you stay? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Are you a jumper? Are you a jumper? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. But the most interesting part of the whole assessment is when I asked her to heal. Give me a heal. Actually, not bad. She actually had quite a decent heal. This tells me one thing. Her family at least put some energy into training her. Do you come? The final thing I asked her to do was come to me and she ran away. All Penny is being right now is a boxer. Boxers are high energy dogs, they're known for it. So before we get to any training, this dog needs a crash course in control. The double leash lock off is my staple technique when teaching a dog control. You put the dog in a harness and you attach a leash to the harness which is attached to an eye bolt. This is called the anchor leash. And then I attach a second leash to the collar. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. So I take a treat and hold it a few inches from her snout. Naturally, she wants to jump and lunge at it, but she can't because that back anchor leash is preventing her. There we go, good, good, good. Nice. This process gets repeated over and over. Control, we cool? Good. As time goes on, she realizes that the more calm and stable she is, the quicker she gets the treat. You're not jumping around anymore, good, good. Come on. Very good boy, excellent work. Hup, hup. Very good boy. 